Hey everyone, today I'm going to be guiding you on how to build your own ideal extension class project. Essentially, the idea is that you're going to create your own DLL file using Visual Studio. And with this DLL file, you are going to be importing this into Mongoose. But before all of that, we are going to be downloading a PDF file under mongoose.info.com and this PDF file is called InfoMongoose IDEO Development Guide. Under the table of contents of this IDEO Development Guide is Chapter 2 IDEO Extension Classes, which is found on page 39. These are the lists of instructions that I'm going to go through with you today. And now let's begin. First, we're going to need to open Microsoft Visual Studio and go to File, New, and Project. Make sure you select Visual C Sharp. We are going to be creating a class library. I'm naming this code. Make sure it's in a location you would know where to find your file later. And I clicked OK. And now we just created our new class library. So we'd like to add our references since we're going to be importing into Mongoose later. I'm going to click Add Reference. Since I've imported these DLL files before, they show up on my recent folder. But for you new timers, you're going to have a different process. So under Browse, make sure you navigate onto your Mongoose folder. And remember that PDF file you just downloaded, there are going to be a list of DLL files on there. I'm going to be needing IDEO Core, IDEO Base, IDEO Protocol, MG Shared, and WS Nums. And we just imported our references. So since we won't be needing this class, we're just going to remove this. And don't worry too much about it because on a later video, I'm going to be helping you on setting up that other class. For now, just expand properties and double click on assemblyinfo.cs. We'll just drop an extra line to this code. On line 37, we'll type in assembly mongoose.ideal IDEO extension class assembly. We're going to write the name of the assembly we are importing, which is also the name of our solution file. So that should be code. After typing this in, we are going to select Build and click on Build Solution. And the build has been successful. Before going into our Mongoose client, we are going to need to copy this file path. Now we are ready to import our DLL file into Mongoose. And we're going to need to open our form called IDEO Custom Assemblies. These are the different assembly names in my system, but I want to add the new assembly that I just created. So we're just going to add a new one. Let's name it code. And then we're going to import the assembly. Remember that file path we just copied? We're going to paste it in here. Just going to click open. And then after that, we're just going to import another symbol in case we need to debug it. We're going to select code.pdb and open. And now we'd be able to save this custom assembly. So that is how simple it is to add your DLL file into Mongoose. Thank you for watching. For more videos like this, visit the Mongoose portal or join our conversation on social media.